Growing up, I never belonged, like anywhere, to anything. Maybe it's because I'm a Jewish kid from Salt Lake City, Utah, an odd, conflicting origin story to be sure. Jews never recognize me for one of their own as I lack a hebe schnoz, no offense, Babs, or any other of my tribe. The Mormons always think I'm one of them until it's time for the secret handshake. In the end, I'm usually just left by myself. For almost all of my life, I've been told that there was no place for me, that I was too late. All the good joints, classic spots, and best parts of this country, perhaps the world, were long gone. Not only that, but it, it was my generation's fault. We didn't appreciate the arts. We didn't take time to make things that last. And old Mr. Boomer might have gotten away with it if it wasn't for us pesky kids. <laughs> Hometown pride does not come easily to me. The Great Salt Lake is drying up due to an ecological disaster. My former classmates mostly vote blood red. For me, Escape from under the Zion Curtain was priority number one as soon as high school was done. So I headed east to New York City, home of my favorite musical at the time, Rent. <laughs> Land of the legendary punk club CBGBs. But Rent was beyond hack by the time I arrived and CBGBs closed down my first month in town. So I headed west to California, home of the hippies, land of dreams. But the hippies had sold out, turning dreams into pricey land purchases. Places like the Purple Onion, the Holy City Zoo, all gone, lost to time. Nothing left but the previous generations telling me repeatedly it was the best. So cool, you just had to be there. But during my time in California, I discovered two places that finally gave me a sense of belonging. One is the Whistle Stop Bar in San Diego, where the So Say We All crew has been producing live stories on stage, throwing back all the drinks, and making the best friendships to last a lifetime for a decade and a half now. The other is Piano Fight. Honestly, I don't know how I got so lucky, but I'm not complaining in the slightest. For Piano Fight, the journey wouldn't start here at 144 Taylor, but at the Paradise Healing Center in Lagunitas. <laughs> September 2014, my birthday in fact. I had written a play that was accepted into Roughing It 3, a Piano Fight produced evening of, mm, it's hard to say, but the tagline sums it up. Theater on the rocks. <laughs> in a short night of outdoor, debaucherous, performative whimsy, complete with beer, barbecue, and everything in between, I was instantly hooked. Upon arriving at the healing center, a wild, jovial man greeted the audience with a song instructing us to follow him. This troubadour was artistic director Rob Reddy, and follow him we did. From scene to scene, vignette to vignette, our master of drunken ceremonies and his merry band of misfits showed us everything from harmonizing fireflies to giant paper puppets contemplating the end of existence by the side of a pool. All done by people who were talented, who deeply loved what they were doing. This was my first date with Piano Fight. After that night, I doubled down on my involvement. I got to be an early witness to Piano Fight's new home in the Tenderloin as it was being built. I wrote and produced plays on all three stages here. I acted in shorts, longs, pint-sized productions. Some good, plenty questionable. <laughs> I made friends, real friends whom I cherish to this day. I even made an enemy or two, but not for long. Here was where I brought parents to magic shows danced my ass off at Californicorn concerts, and sang Fat Joe's What's Love with drag queens on New Year's Eve. I inhaled polenta sticks like they were lines of cocaine in 1983, drowned myself in marinara dipping sauce, drank myself silly on every possible beer and shot pairing under the sun, and even found a love combo on stage. 
I once drove from San Jose to Piano Fight in under an hour on a Saturday night, breaking every speed limit, just so I could DJ at 1 a.m. in the morning for the pure joy of hearing Turtle, the bartender, yell from the top shelf, hell yeah, Arkin, that's my jam! <laughs> I held hands at the bar, cried backstage, <sighs> got verklempt in front of an audience, Fell in love in a rehearsal room, spent more and more time in the beating heart of San Francisco, the place I knew was saving the city's soul from drowning in a sea of tech companies. To me, this is home. It's where I belong, where all of us who didn't belong now do. And at the risk of sounding like an off-key, tone-deaf adult playing a 20-something homeless filmmaker, I want to welcome you all by saying, Dearly beloved, we gather here to say our goodbyes. Thank you. Because tonight, we are all piano fight. We all belong. However long it might have stretched out or fleeting it might feel. I'm blessed, truly lucky. Even after it closes its doors, we will all have piano fight in our history, our lives and our personal narratives. No one can take that away from us. No one can price us out or rob us of being able to tell someone who didn't get to walk through those front doors. It was the best. It was so cool. You just had to be there.